We're back at Upcycle Time at the Charles River Museum of Industry and Innovation. I'm David Shane, and the last video highlighted the clocks I've made from recycled auto parts. Now we're going to get into my recycled bicycle parts. I call this clock Hello and Goodbye because it was mounted over the back door of my house before I installed it here at the museum. Now I want to highlight two features in the design. The first is the way I've tucked the pendulum gear up under the clock face. The motion makes it seem like the gears are rotating together, reminiscent of motion of a bicycle. The other feature is the contrast in colors with the black pendulum gear and the silver front gear representing the clock face. Now these are the original colors and one feature here as we move down the exhibition that I want to highlight is the way I've used different color gears in this, uh, this clock, which I call the color of time. There's a black gear, there's a gray gear, and there's a shiny silver gear. Now I painted the hands of bright red to offer contrast against the more drab colors of the bicycle gears and make it easier to tell time. Now let's walk a little bit this way to the clock I call El Tenador, meaning the fork. While most of my clocks feature the round shapes of things like bicycle gears and disc brakes, using the fork here created a different type of structure, also the tallest clock in the uh, museum here. Now let's move a little further to the start of uh, the display here at the exhibit. I call this clock TikTok. The pendulum consists of a bicycle gear hanging from a piece of bicycle chain. I want to walk all the way down now towards the end of the exhibit, and I want to highlight this clock, which I call Campagnolo Number no. 1. Uh, the Campagnolo brand is uh, the grupo from which this front chain ring is taken. What's interesting, and you can really see it up close at the museum, is how much wear there is on the, on the ring itself. I want to talk about the frames that I'm using for the clocks. So as you can see, each clock has to be framed so it can be hung at the museum. What I did to create the frames, so I did not want to use a standard shadow box because I felt the surround would isolate the clock from the viewer. This way, we have a nice open frame. I took a wooden panel. I used reclaimed lumber to reinforce the back. I took long aluminum rods, cut the appropriate length. I drilled holes where I could insert the rod and then mounted the plexiglass and created this open frame, which I really feel brings the viewers into the clock to really be able to enjoy the exhibit much more. 